I'm testing out a uh, container home consulting, which is been going pretty well. I just want to make sure that I fine tune everything before I bring it to the masses. Welcome to Nomadically Speaking. Um, we're doing things a little bit different on this episode. So, uh, so the 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 premise from behind this episode is I'm going to be answering basic questions about shipping containers. So, a friend of mine is building his first container home, and he I'm working with him on it, and he had just an entire list of different questions to ask me, and I broke it down to him, and I did a lot of that, and I said, you know what, this will be a great video be a, another free resource if you're looking to build a container home so we're going to be using my phone so a little bit different like i said in this video a little bit more of a freestyle um and yeah let's just get into the first oh before i get into the questions let me say this i am it, with that friend and a few other people i'm testing out a uh, container home consulting which is been going pretty well. I just want to make sure that I fine tune everything before I bring it to the masses or bring it to my channel. Make sure that I'm offering exactly what's needed and make sure I troubleshoot some of the issues that I run into. And like I said, we'll do container home consulting. We'll offer project management. We'll offer um, layout consulting. Um, we'll just basically give you an entire, um, be an entire resource for your container home project. So stay tuned for that. I'm thinking, you know, this container, I mean, this YouTube journey has been very interesting because it's, it's, it's actually taken quite longer and it takes a lot more work than I initially thought. And I'm and I love it. But um, as I guess the first the first job for me is to be able to grow this channel. And then afterwards, we'll work on bringing the consultant to you guys. Got about three clients right now, uh, a fourth on the way. And hopefully by sometime middle of uh, next year, I'll be able to take on some more clients. All right, so let's get to let's get right to the first question, which will be coming off of my phone, which is so professional. Let's see. Uh, what are shipping container homes? Great question. Shipping container homes or using uh, recycled shipping containers, which are ideally uh, used for transportation of goods across seas. Using those shipping containers that you see on pretty much every ship uh, transporting goods using those containers and converting them into homes, functional homes. And so that's what a shipping container home is. And the next question is, where can I find shipping container home plans? This is my favorite question because it's very interesting. I think there are now maybe a few resources online, but none that I would use. Um, you can't find shipping container home plans. I would recommend just sitting down and sketching them out yourself and kind of coming up with your own. It's pretty simple. Each container a 40 foot shipping container is approximately 320 square feet so you can kind of like move them around and decide how you want to lay it out and make it functional section the second option is getting with a architect and telling them what your plans are and your ideas and a creative uh, architect will be it'll be easy for them to come up with something okay where's another question where can i buy shipping containers i would recommend googling uh, shipping container dealers and finding people who are like certified and then look and making sure that they have great reviews and yeah doing your research on that company and you you should be able to find shipping containers are abundantly everywhere so you should you should have no issues finding a reputable seller i actually work with a seller in texas and i may put his information in this video and if not this video i'll make sure to add it to the next one all right next next question is where can I find contractors to build my container homes? That just, which is, plays into the whole consulting idea that, I, that I'm working on. <clears throat> um, again, I think at this particular time, Google is your best friend. You, you may want to Google and find contractors in your area that may work with containers. But at the, at the same time, it's not an abundant thing. So that's why a lot of the videos that I have are like pushing like uh, more like DIY builders people that already have experience with construction because it may be very hard to find a container home builder um but i do know a few some guys that i follow on youtube i'm just not sure if they do if they like have crews that have come to different cities and states which i have no idea but stay tuned i recommend like i said doing a, a, a just a blanket google search to seeing if anybody has 
uh, has experience in your area and then just making sure you get references on them uh, speaking of references i have another video that speaks a little bit more into vetting people who do uh, construction on your project so it should be coming out here either before this video or after and it's uh it's, it's titled are container homes legit that's the name of the youtube video are container homes legit and it's um it's just a great video okay so why do people live and ship in container homes uh because they're cool they're different um structurally sound and yeah a cost effective method as far as building uh, if you if done correctly let's see another question i missed a good one <sighs> Oh, how long would my shipping container home last? Uh, as long as of conventional construction. The, the, I guess the main thing is just making sure that you build your container home appropriately. Uh, if you can get past that, if you can get that part done, then your, your home will last longer than you will. Um, so yeah, container homes are pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's eco-friendly, strong, durable, steel uh, structures. And another tidbit, just something to think about, a container home is just a uh when you think of a container home uh you just remove all of the like the extras and just think about it like this when you build a conventional home you use a uh, wood frame it's basically a wood frame home um, a wood frame building but with container homes you instead of doing a, a, a conventional a wood frame construction you just insert you use a container and then you build out the inside of the container just like you would any other home so it's really not that much of a difference um in that regard so that's a um, little tidbit i'll add all right what else we got uh let's see but yeah i think that was how can you build your own shipping container home oh uh, by just uh, again, I just dropped. An, I'm dropping a created another video that explains it, and I have a few different resources. So if you check out, if you follow my channel, go check out some of the videos where I basically speak to that. But if uh, if I was building a container home and I had no experience, I would find a contractor who is uh, uh, just a regular general contractor who does home construction, and then I would hire a civil engineer, a structural engineer, and an architect. And those three people would be my my dream team and we you know i would basically uh confer to them uh, consult with them and to get my project completed and you know uh, structural engineer civil engineer either or and a contractor or a builder uh just a regular home builder and an architect will be able to construct a container home uh, pretty pretty easily now at the same time there are, there are challenges you're going to run into that nobody will be able to prepare you for unless they've done a container home that's again another reason why i'm doing a consultant and i'm not trying to do the shameless plug thing because i hate watching videos and people like trying to sell me something but to be honest with you is the resources are very limited when it comes to container homes and, and even when um when i started my journey years ago when i would look up like when i would find resources it was really like really like cut and paste like it didn't explain it it was like oh in order to build a container home you blah 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 it wasn't speaking to me and it wasn't it really wasn't like authentically like somebody that actually did container home construction it was like theory as opposed to actual construction and that is something that i am personally like i said working on to offer as a resource because i know how it is when you're in this space now also if you're watching this video and you just have no idea and you don't have no intentions you just want to you know uh spectate that's fine too hopefully i can offer something for you guys let's see if i if i was spectating it, would i want would i want my hmm, okay let's see so if i was a spectator and i had questions and then they would you know a spectator would be like hey you know will uh if my neighbor builds a container home as his main structure on his property will that lower the value of my home it has nothing to do with your property and as long as it's done tastefully and you know um is done correctly it should be perfectly fine it should not be an eyesore and i 
I've talked to a lot of people that say, you know, well, I, don't, I wouldn't want something like that staying next door to me. But you'd be surprised how beautiful a lot of these container homes are and can be. Like I said, I'm working on a project right now, modern shipping container, every the top of the line, everything. So it just depends on the builder. But if uh, if your neighbor decides to build a container home and he gets approved, you know, from the city and municipality that you guys are in, there's really not much you can do but uh embrace it um so anyway i'm trying to get out of the i think what a lot of people believe that like these container homes are tacky and i'm just trying to kind of change that space um i'm a builder um i'm also uh how can i say this i'm a builder i'm a creator i'm a designer like so i've already always been creative and so i've latched on to container homes because they I don't know it's just it satisfies some type of creative energy um and like i said my background is i'm a civil engineer you know i've done different things but out this i can't let go it's just super cool to me and really i think essentially what i'll probably head into is more like a tiny home space and kind of like fine-tuning uh construction methods for tiny homes essentially because we're kind of like the way the economy is going and the things that are happening, you know, just want to offer some resources for people that are looking to save, but would also like to own a home. And so that's what we are going to offer. Anyway, I hope you found some type of value in this video. And again, just an impromptu kind of question Q&A session. And if you have some questions, leave them at the bottom of this video and we'll do a part two. We'll make it a thing. So oh before you leave make sure you like this video and subscribe this gets me in the algorithm this gets people this gets this in front of people and we can continue this conversation so we'll call this part one and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much